Yeah! What? Guys, it has been so long since we've played For the Worthy Terraria, but we are back. Basically, um, what happened last time? Um, massive failure happened, basically. That's all you guys need to know. And I don't blame you if you didn't watch that video, because that video was, um, very, very boring. But, um, just to recap, let's go over here to, um, show you what exactly I've built. Yeah, this thing over here. Our, um, Brain of Cthulhu Arena. A new one that I fashioned after the one down here sucked horribly. This one is on the surface. It's a lot bigger. It's got a lot of room for me to run around. Um, and in general, it, it just looks better than the one I built underground. So, to set this up, um, a little bit better now, I've got a heart lantern. And I'm gonna set one campfire up right there. And then I'm gonna run all the way over to the other side and set another campfire up right there. And I'm gonna put the heart lantern right there. Alright, so now we've got health regen to the max, basically. Another thing that I want to do is get a better weapon. Obviously, the thorn chakram is pretty good. But the blood butcher just doesn't cut it. It's really small. I mean, I think it's average, but I mean, you're, you're free to judge, I guess. And it's just kind of impractical. So, here's what I've cooked up, alright? I... I'm going to get the Blade of Grass. Basically, the updated Blade of Grass is kind of like, it creates like an aura of death around you. Um, and that poison stuff that gets in its radius. So I think I'm gonna use that to help with the creepers in case my Thorn Chakram kind of, you know, goes haywire and doesn't want to cooperate. I've got a lot of the materials. I just need one more vine and I think I'm good on stingers and spores. All I need to do is just kill a, um, a man-eater, and, um, I'll be good, so, uh, I'll meet y'all in the underground jungle. Six and a half hours later. Alright, here we are in the underground jungle. Um, the only thing I need to kill right now is just a man-eater, because, fortunately, on master mode, they drop vines 100% of the time, which is so unbelievably helpful, and also the same thing with, um, hornets. They drop stingers 100% of the time. Which is amazing when you're trying to farm to get the materials for certain weapons. And, uh, oh, that's a hornet right there. I do not want to mess with you. Ooh, ooh, there's a man-eater right there. <gasps> oh, bats, bats, bats! Alright, this man-eater is in a prime position for a butt whooping. Sir, you will give me your vine and you will give it to me right now. Come on, come on, come on. You're almost dead. Come on, come on, little buddy. Yes! Alright, now... Go home. I always forget where the magic mirror is. I'm gonna put it in my hotbar. So I think if I go over to my anvil, uh, apparently I do not have enough. Do I need 15 stingers? Please don't tell me I need 15 stingers. Please. Uh, oh, I need three vines! No! Freaking, I thought it was two because I had my UI was too small. Dang it, now I gotta freaking walk back all the way over there. Freaking stupid piece of freaking garbage. Freaking frick! I'm in, I am in not a great position right now. But I, I need... I need this freaking vine. Yes! Yes! Out of here! Get me out of here! Okay, now we can craft the blade of grass. Alright, 22 melee damage. It's a little bit less than the butcher, but, um, hey. Whatever. We have an aura of death around us that just spins, which is nice. And it can poison enemies, which is fantabulous. I think it, I think it can hit people through walls. Yes, it can. Oh boy, okay. Now that I've got a competent weapon, all I need to do is just uh, get a good reforge on it, and we should be good to fight the brain again. Ooh, actually, you know what else I'm going to do? Um, I am going to buy... Oh, I already have rocket boots. What the heck am I doing? I was about to buy rocket boots. That was about to be really embarrassing. Alright, my final reforge was superior. I'm going to keep this. I'm, I'm going to keep superior, at least for now. I wasn't able to get legendary, but I think superior will be relatively fine. Oh, and I see a moon glow. Freaking nice. This episode's going well so far. I really hope it doesn't derail into something, you know, absolutely horrible. Foreshadowing as a narrative device. All right, before I do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and make some specter boots. There we go. And now, swiftness potion. Okay, I think that is all the buffs that we're gonna need for this battle. Now, I've gotta go freaking make the, um, I've got to make the bloody spine, and then we can battle this thing. Okay. Thankfully, because I put ten bricks on the floor, the only thing that can spawn up here are slimes, which is very, very nice. Okay, I have crafted the bloody spine. Took a little while, but 
I finally did it. And now, I think that with this arena setup, and with all the buffs available to us, that we are finally ready to battle the Brain of Cthulhu. I've got the freaking Blade of Grass. I've got the Thorn Chakram. I've got the Crimson Rod. For the worthy Brain of Cthulhu, let me drink Iron Skin, Swiftness, Regen, and Seafood Dinners. Alright. Bloody Spine. Let's go. Okay. Ah! Well, so far, this is going a little bit smoother than last time. I'm not, you know, immediately dying. Ah! Okay. This is going well. I'm not gonna say anything yet, though. The number of creepers is slowly dwindling, which is a good sign. Oh, crap! That's the brain! No! Get out! Are you freaking kidding me? Ugh! You've got to be freaking kidding me. The brain teleported inside of me. Pause. You know what? You know what I think I might do? Hold on a second. What are the ingredients for an obsidian skin potion? Okay. Here's what I think I'm gonna do. I am gonna get Hellstone Armor. I think that that would be a good step up and it would increase our damage and, of course, you know, defense. So, that's what I'm gonna do. We've gotta dig all the way to hell, though, so... <gasps> Gonna die. Okay, never mind. What I, <laughs> what I was gonna say, we have to dig all the way to hell. So, um, in montage moment. Okay, guys, I finally freaking got enough Hellstone to make Molten Armor. I have been recording, as I'm looking here, for an hour and ten minutes. I started this recording at 12.20. It is 1.30. If you do not hit the like button now, you, you, I, I don't know. Anyway, boom, helmet. Boom, breastplate. Boom, greaves. Boom, boom, boom. Our defense went from 28 to 37. We cannot be set on fire. Our set bonus is that we have 10% extra melee damage. Also, I picked up this thing. You know, I'm called the Volcano now, but before it was called the Fiery Greatsword, and I will continue to call it that. And, uh, well, um, if I can find a slime, you're probably wondering what exactly does it do after all the melee reworks. Well... I'm about to show you. Here we go, here's a slime. Watch what this thing does. It freaking explodes things. This means that this might be the best weapon for taking on the brain, or not the brain, but the creepers. So I'm gonna keep this. It is a zealous blade, but honestly it does so much damage, I don't think reforges are really gonna matter that much. Also pick myself up a um, fart in a jar just for a little bit of extra mobility. All right, just made some potions. I'm gonna go back and make the bloody spine, and we are going to attempt to fight the Brain of Cthulhu again. I cannot tell y'all, like, a good probably 50% of this video is just me sitting still contemplating life. Alright y'all, this is it. This fight determines the rest of this episode, alright? There is a chance I could die. There's also a chance I could win this fight. I am not exactly sure. I'm going to drink my iron skin. I'm going to eat the seafood dinner. I'm going to drink the regen. I'm going to drink the swiftness. <sighs> Let's do this. Oh, come on. I am speedy right now, dude. Like, I am quick on my feet. I am freaking angry. Ugh. <sighs> As soon as I get rid of all these tissue samples. Come on. Or not tissue samples. Creepers. Okay. We're almost there. Just as long as the brain does not teleport into me. Okay. Nope. Zombie. No. There's a zombie there. Why is there a zombie there? Eh. Okay. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get all the creepers out. Get them out. Come on. Come on. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Yes! Yeah! What? What? Upside freaking down? Are you freaking serious right now? I have to fight the... What? No! No, 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 that is unfair, that is unfair, that is unfair! That is so freaking unfair, you've got to be freaking kidding me! No! No! You freaking piece of garbage! Ugh! It freaking flips you upside down! Why? What? <sighs> the boss was already hard to begin with! And then you decide to freaking flip me upside down, reverse my gravity. You could have just flipped my screen. That would have been bad enough. You flip my gravity. So I'm just constantly going upwards into space and I'm having to... How am I supposed to fight that? How? There's just no freaking way. I... I'm done. I'm done. I'm I'm done. I'm done. N no. 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 No.